Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be doing a live installation of the latest OTA update uh, 2.2.0 for Oxygen OS for the OnePlus 2. Um, as you know most of you follow me, you must have seen several videos on the OnePlus 2 uh, which I have been putting on in the last few months and every time an OTA update hits the OnePlus 2 I make sure I update you guys uh, what has improved and what hasn't improved. On the previous version of uh, Oxygen OS which is still installed by the way because I haven't still done the installation for the latest and the new 2.2.0 uh, so this phone is actually running uh, Oxygen version 2.1.2 I was actually supposed to do a follow-up video I did in a live installation video before but uh, the next OTA update is there already and OnePlus 2 are very quick when it comes to OTA updates guys and uh, I haven't had the chance to actually explain that to you but the good thing is that in the new update there were several bugs in on this version which people complained like issues with the dual sim version uh, uh, dual sim issues like people were not able to use both sims at the same time people had issues with battery drains and all sorts of issues uh, OTG support wasn't there and stuff which I've often mentioned in my previous videos as well but from some of the new latest issues which arrived uh, ever since 2.1.2 was installed uh, I wasn't able to update you guys so what I've decided now is that I will do a live installation of the latest OT update which just hit the 1.2 plus two just uh, a couple of days ago I got mine yesterday I was a bit too busy at work guys I couldn't do the video then but today I thought I'll do a live installation in front of you guys there we go as you can see once you go into settings and system update you will have this latest Oxygen OS version at 2.2.0 let's have a quick look at the change log before we start the installation and downloading so it says happy holidays hey what's new probably Christmas time that's why they're saying this so like I said fixed dual sim preference selection issues and settings on, now in this setting uh, this has been fixed uh, added NTFS and XFAT uh, support for OTG now if you've been following me on the, on, on the channel you must have seen in one of the, my previous videos on the OnePlus 2 I did try to uh, connect the OTG uh, USB stick uh, to uh, uh, to, to the phone and the phone wasn't able to pick it up I did install um, I did try to, to um, uh, you know format it via FAT and also NTFS but on both the occasions uh, OTG support wasn't present on the OnePlus 2 also they're saying fix, they have fixed the Google camera photosphere and panorama bugs I never faced those bugs guys because I haven't been using the camera as aggressively if I was to be honest but I will definitely have a look at this and uh, we will let you know Okay, screen temperature can now be adjusted from quick settings. Now this is something new, something which I haven't seen before and uh, I would love to see how can you actually vary and change the temperature, screen temperature, something new, something which I haven't seen before like I said guys. So it will be interesting to see how this goes on after the update. Also, they've added a height search bar option in the launcher settings which we will probably find out after we install the update. Security patches, guys, as always very important. As you know, Google have announced in the last couple of months that uh, they going to be releasing monthly security patches so it's good for the one uh, one plus good, good of one plus to actually keep up with the one plus two and make sure they keep our phone secured so that we can uh, browse safely online and other stuff also holiday wallpapers this is probably christmas holiday papers i'm wallpapers I'm, I'm 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 guessing because christmas is just around the corner only a couple of days from now and also general bug fixes and optimizations uh, this optimizations hopefully will improve uh, the battery life uh, the one plus two so far is actually um, uh, whilst I talk about this let me just quickly tap on download guys so whilst we talk about it it starts downloading so yeah the battery life I was talking to you about uh, so quite a few people have complained that they had battery drain on standby mode uh, I haven't had as much of a battery drain to be honest uh, where as far as the screen on time is concerned uh, yes um, it has it only gives you about four, four to four and a half of hours of screen on time when you use MiFi more and 4G less but if you use 4G more then you are bound to get around three and a half hours now with a big huge battery on the one plus two people obviously expect more i expected more after the first ot update uh, i did re uh, i did uh, successfully um, uh, was able to to achieve six hours of screen on time which was amazing but ever since that uh, the later updates which followed after the first one i was never able to achieve a six hours of screen on time so that was a bit surprising obviously because the phone has a big huge battery inside so hopefully uh, 
uh, this update will fix that issue and hopefully we'll be able to get five hours and beyond and that's what I expect from a battery of this size and this phone is, hasn't even got uh, quad HD it's only got a full HD screen so I do expect better there you go guys and the system um, uh, update has been now uh, successfully downloaded so now let's do the installation this is Oxygen OS uh, version 2.2 Point zero. So let's install. Okay, it's asking me it will reboot my device once it's finished. There we go. Okay. So now it's rebooting and I will install and we will find out in just a few minutes how the installation goes. Uh, one of the reasons guys I've, I've, I've started doing this live installation videos is like I said before a lot of people complained that um, uh, whilst thing, trying to install the OT updates mm. uh, for a lot of people the update fails whilst they're on this main screen uh, they're unable to uh, go any further with the installation procedure and often the update fails and that's why I've decided that every time OnePlus 2 will uh, get an OT update I will do a short a live installation video and show you guys if there are any issues if you face any issues right now uh, right now guys then I will leave a link down below under description of how to manually flash um, uh, the Oxygen OS version I'll also leave a link for, for official OnePlus's website from where you can get all these uh, different versions starting from when they start off with the very first 2.0.1 update on the OnePlus 2 so I'm happy to say that you know ever since I've had the OnePlus 2 in the last few months uh, OnePlus, OnePlus have released lots of updates for the phone oxygen os needed uh, updates because it was it was as, as mature an operating system a few months ago but now it seems to me every time they release an ot update they fix the bugs they are fixed trying to fix the bugs also the oxygen os running much much more smoothly than before previously uh, it had a bit of an issue with the uh, at times the phone would just freeze or it would stutter and the animations were not as smooth as you would expect from a phone which has a snapdragon 810 along with four gigs of RAM but ever since the last update at 2.1.2 which I showed you earlier the phone has become much more smoother and now you feel uh, that the power under, under under the hood with the Snapdragon 810 and 4 gigs of RAM actually makes you feel that yes you have some raw power inside the phone and the smooth animations are much much more smoother now there's one thing people have talked a lot about and they ask me a lot is the battery now a lot of people are having you know, battery draining issues I don't understand guys why you're having these issues to be honest because I did make a video a few weeks ago in which I gave you the solution of how to improve your battery drain how to get rid of your battery drain you go into the to recovery menu from there in settings you wipe the cache once you wipe the cache then you reboot your phone and hopefully uh, that will solve your problem a lot of people under that video in the comments Section did report that yes they had they were successful and the battery drain is, drain is vanished has vanished but a lot of people also complained that it, it either made their battery drain worse or uh, it didn't make any improvement uh, to their uh, battery draining already from the previous versions well that was a solution that was given to me by officially by oneplus i was uh, successfully able to get in touch with oneplus on their twitter account and they were kind enough to give me that solution and then i put a video on it because I knew a lot of people were concerned about the battery life on the OnePlus 2. I have to admit though that the battery on the OnePlus 2 has been a bit un un inconsistent. Sometimes it gives you around four to four and a half hours. Sometimes it will give you three to three and a half hours. Obviously it depends what you use. You use Wi-Fi. If you use your Wi-Fi more, you're probably going to get more screen on time. If you're going to be using 4G more, then obviously you're bound to get a far less screen on time. But overall the battery has been inconsistent and um, I really expected that with a huge battery inside this phone uh, we should be, have been able to easily uh, go past the five hour mark uh, for screen on time but unfortunately that hasn't been the case hopefully uh, this update will improve uh, the optimizations and hence improve the battery at the same time as well uh, after this video guys once the installation is finished I will obviously stop recording I don't want to keep it uh, keep it too long because then people start complaining their video is far too long so once I've done the installation the phone has gone phone the phone goes back to the home screen then I will stop and shoot soon afterward guys after a few days from now um, I will see look at the improvements I will check the uh, USB OTG I will also check the optimizations the battery life and everything and I will keep you guys informed uh, please follow me on social media Google Plus Facebook and Twitter I regularly update news about OnePlus 2 there all the time guys uh, about battery I all often take screenshots and I put battery stats there standby stats there and I discuss every small little thing obviously it's 
not possible on YouTube to discuss every single little thing. And every time I have to come back and do a video, I rather post an update on my social media sites for you guys to follow me. So please follow me, like I said, on Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter, guys. And I will and keep you informed throughout the week how am I f um, finding the update. And once I'm ready, when I once I've done all my findings, then I will um, collect them all in one place and I will post my findings uh, in a short video uh, in in a few days time from now and let i uh, will definitely let you guys know how did the 2.2.0 update go with the one plus two now as you can see guys the installation so far has been successful no issues the typical one plus boot animation logo is up there trying to boot the phone up and hopefully it will get to the main uh, home screen very very shortly so um let's have a look I'll have to wait for a few, hopefully a few seconds, not a few minutes. There we go. Android is now upgrading. As you can see, optimizing apps, uh, 27 of 169. Now, often people complain it takes far too long to optimize. Hopefully it shouldn't because this issue was fixed in the, uh, in, in the last update, the one before this one. As you can see, it's going very, very quickly. Uh, the optimizing app section um, uh, procedure was too slow but since the last update 2.1.2 they have fixed this issue and I did show that you the same optimizing uh, or we discussed the same optimizing speed app, app speed uh, speed app in my previous video as well and as you can see in this video uh, it's optimized pretty fast just a few more apps left before it uh, optimizes so like I said guys uh, OnePlus has been working hard ever since I had the phone I've had constant OTA updates and those of you of the OG just tuning into my channel now uh, please go back and have a look I've been updating the OnePlus 2 uh, on, the, on the last couple of months and I've put an individual a dedicated video discussing all including every single OTA update and I'm happy to report that so far um, with every OTA update uh, things are improving OnePlus 2 is becoming a better phone and especially when, ever since the phone has gone um, even cheaper than before it's even a better bargain no other OEM can give you a Snapdragon 810 along with 4 gigs of RAM at a ridiculous price of under 300 pounds it is a, it is a bargain and i personally think no one else can offer you a package like that in such a, a, um, a cheap price tag so often people ask me about like somebody was asking me yesterday jay uh, what do you think between the moto x and the one plus two and why would you prefer the one plus two over the moto x and i gave him the, the simple answer and that was that uh, overall one plus two is a better phone yes the moto x play has got uh, the moto x sorry style has got a uh, front facing speakers which are very powerful speaker on the one plus two obviously is not as powerful it's actually at the bottom uh, of the phone just there as you can see the left side of the grill is actually speaker there's nothing on the right hand side so the speaker is average but it's more than enough to for you to obviously watch youtube videos and listen to music so that's not a big deal for me personally also the moto x style has a slightly better camera than the one plus two the camera on the one plus two guys is not too bad as well as you know it has a 13 megapixel camera along with the laser autofocus which obviously helps in focusing now there were also issues which i remember people asking me questions about a focusing issue whilst you're shooting video the phone was having issues with the focus so i will also be testing that in my uh, after the update guys in the next few days and i will report back everything um uh, just to uh, let you guys know that whenever, whenever every time you ask me a question guys i always make a note of it and i want to make sure that i address to every single issue that you guys raise uh, in my previous video under the comment section lots of issues have been raised but i be rest assured guys i've made a note of every single issue at times it takes me time because obviously i'm i also work full time and youtube is not my full time job but um, be rest assured that I'm making sure that I take my time and uh, and record and make a note of every single question that gets asked and I will definitely address all those uh, answers now that the update is here as well to fix my uh, fix all the issues in the one plus two and that will help me obviously explain you guys especially when the problems are solved by one plus also um, a, a few people have asked me in the past how is the back uh, of the one plus two going this is obviously the sandstone version and as you guys know most of you know this is obviously removable you can remove the back case very easily there you go and you can obviously put a case of your choice should you wish so uh, removing the case was obviously a lot easier than it was on the one plus one a lot of people obviously complain it was a big huge issue but obviously on the one plus two is it's rather easy as you see as you as you just saw that i was easily able to take the cover off so yes it's easy to take the cover off on the one plus two and you can replace it the variant area as you can see guys there are, there are a few scratches on it um and um 
I normally put a case on this, but sometimes I don't feel like putting a case on. When I don't, the sandstone version can actually be a bit tr tricky business. As you can see, even if you, if I, if, you, if I was to say, put my nail on it, as you can see, it can scratch very, very easily. So you have to be careful with sandstone bag, guys. You have to make sure you keep it clean, keep it protected, and keep it on, on, in a case if you want to save your sandstone, obviously, case. If, if not, then obviously, once this wears off, you can always buy another sandstone one, or you can buy a different color should you wish so that shouldn't be uh, much of a problem so let's put this back on the phone and see how far the phone has gone so far guys so as you can see optimizing 154 of 169 I want to make sure I complete this so that uh, we have no issues in installation so let's put the back case on and there you go guys as you can see pretty easy and straightforward to put it back on the phone nice and easy no issues here whatsoever um, so I remember people were also asking me about the heating issues there was, there was a guy who asked me uh, about the oneplus 2's heating issues he was having severe issues with heating um, uh, he was probably the only guy I've heard so far who's complained about the heating on the oneplus 2 um, cause keeping in mind that the phone has the snapdragon the notorious snapdragon 810 um, this is one of the most coolest phones guys I've had this year to be honest I never had no heating issue this phone I've put videos on gaming and gaming in which I also use my gun to show you guys the temperature I never had no issues with heating on this phone this is absolutely super cool phone keeping in mind like I said guys it has a Snapdragon 810 and throughout this year every Snapdragon 810 phone that I've played with even the Snapdragon 808 phones like the LG G4 for instance or the Moto X style they also have the tendency to, at times to also heat up but the OnePlus 2 no matter what um, I, I don't know what kind of installation they have in, installation these guys have done to keep the phone cool but they've done a brilliant job and this phone doesn't heat up at all in my own personal experience so not too bad okay uh, let's have a look guys how far have we gone so far so optimizing app 157 of 169 I think this will probably guys finish it won't give us much of a problem anyway I will still I will try my best to stay there till the end uh, I know some people will be looking at this and they'll be getting annoyed that why am I um, you know stretching the video but I'm doing it only guys for those people who often ask me Jay my installation has failed I'm unable to uh, install um, the update but guys if you're doing this uh, update and if, if your update fails I will leave a link down under the description um, I've done uh, um, I've done a video I, I did uh, do a video uh, a couple of months ago when my first OT update failed and I showed you guys how to manually flash um, the oxygen OS whichever version you're flashing flashing doesn't mean rooting guys so if you are actually gonna be flashing the one plus two with a new ROM that does not mean that you are the warranty the warranty still stays there uh, you're not damaging the phone and you can officially uh, flash the oxygen OS ROM as long as the ROM is fine and it works and there shouldn't be any problems so there's a difference between flashing and rooting when I asked you in when you when you asked me in the comment section Jay uh, what should I do and when I say flash that does not mean that you're rooting you're just flashing a new ROM and that's pretty much it nothing else so feel free to have a look at that video I will leave a link down below under description so you can have a look at that video should you wish and you can also get this latest version from the OnePlus 2's uh, from OnePlus's website as well so that wouldn't be a problem there you go guys as you can see now it's finishing boot uh, it's finished with the boot process and we are about to hit the home screen and hopefully we will have no issues and before I finish the video I'll make sure guys I actually get into settings and about phone and I'll show you guys there uh, how it goes obviously there is taking time fresh installation so let's get into settings quickly and let's get into about phone guys there we go and now we have here tada we have the Android security patch level 1st of December 2015 also Android version 5.1.1 hopefully we'll have the marshmallow very soon early next year and there you go guys you have sorry you have uh, okay there we go so you have Oxygen OS version guys 2.2.0 uh, this is the latest version now as you can see I've installed it successfully so no issues on live installation uh, whatsoever so guys I'm going to live with the update uh, for a couple of days and I will definitely report back to you guys in a follow up video and all your questions that you asked me in my previous videos I will answer them if you have any more questions please feel free to ask me under the comment section and like always guys uh, give my video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe as it helps and I will see you in the next video.